<laughs> All right, guys. So we're about to go out to Castillo de San Felipe. Uh, my hair is all freaked up. I'll fix it in a bit. As you can see right here, she's over here modeling and taking pictures, as always. <laughs> but as you guys can see, look, it's freaking like rain and fog is coming this way. Um, which it wasn't there like literally 15 minutes ago. So, yeah. I mean, it'll probably be a little bit on and off. Today might be the, one of the worst days. Just kind of looking around, seeing how it looks. But we're still out here. So, frick it. It's not like I ain't never been in rain before. I'm gonna frick, all right? <laughs> we're still out here on my money, on my time. So, we're about to do this one. Donde estamos, mi amor? En el castillo de San Felipe. Porque queremos ver qué hay adentro. Mm -hmm. Hay túneles. Mm -hmm. Y es interesante. Interesante de la historia de Colombia. Y Cartagena. Defend the city only twice. 1697 against the French enemy. And 1741 against England enemy. It's Cartagena was a land for Spanish people. The, another enemy, French, England, Poland, Portugal, mm -hmm. Port Portuguese. Okay, a lot of uh, pirates mm -hmm. attacked the city during um, more in 16th century. Mm -hmm. Here, Cartagena was attacked by pirates, England and French pirates. When we get to the top point, you can, you can appreciate the city and the bay because mm -hmm. The, uh, the the bay was discovered in 1601. Mm -hmm. The city was founded in 1533. Oh, so the, the Spanish the Spaniard people remained here. No, no one the war. Mm -hmm. The winner was Spanish. For that reason, now we speak Spanish, no English. Mm -hmm. The England in that time took the city. Possible now we uh, talking in, in English. Mm -hmm. yeah? No, Colombia. Uh, this is my second time in Colombia. Uh, Medellin. Medellin, see. Cartagena. How do you like Medellin? Uh, Medellin. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot to do there. Um, it's very it's like. Nice, but you, you you feel better here because it's safer city in Colombia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't feel as dangerous, but there are more uh, street vendors and everything like that. Yeah, right. I do like the uh, beaches and stuff like that, so islands. Yeah, the, 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 better, the better beaches here is in Baru Islands. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, different uh, beaches. Mm -hmm. No only Playa Blanca, mm -hmm. Playa de los Muertos. Mm -hmm. You understand Playa de los Muertos? Uh, beach of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Poor people and the right side, rich people. And you can see a new place that that place is called the uh, La Matuna, but it's no colonial days. Colonial days only, just a uh, Germanic area, mm -hmm. San Sebastian area on your right on the right side. Mm -hmm. Okay, that area is new, 19th century, Boca Grande, Manga, and uh, Cabrero. In Cartagena, now we have a uh, one million people live here uh, during the colonial days only 30 people 30,000 people live in that area inside you know Cartagena was poor to traffic slaves black people mm -hmm. uh, were brought from Africa to Cartagena and here was so here we have a special place to, to sell slaves Plaza de la Duana okay. yeah Plaza was place to, to sell slaves uh, the place to live was in this area, was called La Chambacu. Chambacu, mm -hmm. place for, black, for, for slaves people. Mm. The white people, Spaniard people live into the city wall. Inside the, the, the tunnel, we have some cavity. The 
got to be working places for soldiers to hide. When the enemy attack over, this, everybody have to come in down to looking for safe places. That's a picture for the group. <laughs> for the gram. That's memory. Uh-huh. Here we have some film in, in the forest. Uh, for, uh, you know that there was a film yeah, that guy is uh, Will Smith. Yeah, uh, uh, the name the film the world is Heavenly, uh, Heavenly, 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 Man. Cartagena sign. Bam. Bam. Viva Cartagena. Viva Colombia. If I wasn't famous, it would be I would I would live in Cartagena. I really love my time here. It's uh, just the the music, the culture, the food, the whole the whole vibe was just you know so much love from the people, you know, we, we we shot here for a few weeks. I'll definitely come back again. Now we out here going through, you know what I'm saying? Through the tunnel. <laughs> this way to escape. When the soldiers need to escape, they have to take it this way. This is to crossing from the north to south. Here is going down. Cavity from soldier. Oh, shoot. Oh, careful there, Norman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that part slipped. Yeah, the lime's gonna look over The lime's gonna be very slippery. Are these fingers? Yep. Everybody, turn on, turn on the light. No, not turn on. Turn off. Because I need. A dark tunnel. To continue, you learn, you learn to, uh, to 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 walk into the port, into the tunnel. No light. You have to touch the wall. Oh yeah. Yeah. To hmm. touch the wall, you need, you continue the walking, right? Mm -hmm. Understand? You get it? Yes. Okay. Touch the wall. Right ahead. Can't see crap. <laughs> Yo guys, if you're watching this right now, <laughs> it's dark. My my eyes is all the way up. Damn. You said to the left? Oh, yep. He said left. Behind us wall. We find the stairs, stay down. Divide it. Look at look at look at use. Yeah. Different way, like a labyrinth. If you don't know the right way, you lose inside. But that reason the was cross. Because uh, some tourists don't take a guide. Always, you take it this way, you need a guide head to you for, uh, by the, the right way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is ventilation, but now we don't have ventilation. The wind is hot. Yeah. Summer is different. It's fresh, mm -hmm. like an air condition inside. Mm -hmm. Cheater. This complication if you don't know the right way here. The, sol the soldier lose inside and the tourists lose inside. For that reason, it was closed, the tunnel. Mm -hmm. uh, and the I just hot as frick down here because there's no like air um, circulation. But we're going through. Uh, as he was saying, y'all are gonna. Oh yeah, it's not good for people who are claustrophobic. Uh, <laughs> but here we go up this uh, steep ass part again where Norman slipped. <laughs> Short way to get to the city. Mm. Underground, if you want to get there, it's not, it's not necessary to, to leave the tunnel mm. out, outside. No, continue to the city. Connected Jetsemani in this forest. 
That is La Popa. Popa Hills, the highest point. When you get there, you can appreciate the whole city. I recommend to you, to you to get there because it's a nice place to visit. Mm -hmm. the grounds over there. And you can see that is Cartagena. The middle mm -hmm. class people and the poor people live around the, the, the mountain. La Popa mountain. The the house, white house is complex. Monastery is called La um, Candle Virgin Monastery. And the hill is La Popa. Guys, as you can see here, it's a beautiful view, even though it's kind of rainy out or cloudy. This is, this is a nice view. I can only imagine from up there where he said La Popa. But this is this is beautiful. I just took a picture. I wish I'd take a better picture, but Instagram's going to chop my crap off. <laughs> but we're going to uh, continue forward. Man, all them little kids up there, I ball my girl, I'm about to smack one of them upside the head as he has his arm around his other chick. Tour was nice, it was uh, informative, I like our tour guide, he's pretty cool. Uh, talking about the castle and everything like that, the history behind it. What'd you think, Norman? What'd you think of the Castillo? San Felipe. The tunnels was crazy. Mm -hmm. Ventilation was crazy. Ventilation, what ventilation? Ramstone <laughs> was trying to take us out. Hey, they, they, they saw us and they, they caught you slipping, literally. We're gonna go ahead and take Norman back. This is his uh, last amount of time here um, with us. He has to get to the airport. So, we'll see him off. You know what I'm saying? What's up? kind of already dug into the food um so a little late on that getting the footage of it but we're at we're at a place called crepes and waffles uh me and uh me and her went to this place back in medellin uh, i can show you that guy i believe that picture's on my instagram i put that in here um but yeah uh, this is freaking fire <laughs> here comes her plate <laughs> Uh -huh. Damn, girls. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Alright, y'all, we up in another mall right now. It's called Cerrezuela. Cerrezuela Mall. This place is pretty, pretty new. Uh, the cab driver says it's been here for four years. We out here with my boy Morpheus. Go ahead and show him Morpheus. Let's go. <laughs> Just take off the parts on the side. Yeah, red pill or blue pill? <laughs> Let go. Just <laughs> freaking take off jumping across buildings. All right, y'all, we out here in a third world country. You know what I'm saying? Where they say everybody's freaking poor. <laughs> Clearly, we got 
dope ass new freaking malls, all circular, nice structure, high class places where we was about to get some sunglasses, but how much were they? 172. 172 USD. They're still running prices and stuff out here. They still got top notch stuff, high end stuff. There's a whole ass mall here. It's very modern. The guy said it's been here four years. It's not like everybody just walking with walking barefooted, living in huts, scraping for cash. Like so, right here, you guys. We have the arena, is it Serra Suela Mall? Yeah. And then that's like a fountain right there. All right, there's a fountain. It's like a whole arena where they actually have like stuff going on sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> there's like some um, pretty high end like restaurants and stuff up here, new places. I've heard uh, a lot of these places are pretty good. Um, we're not eating here though. We're gonna be eating at a place called um, Andres Carne de Des. But uh, Tentarero and all these other places are pretty new. This place is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Here's a wide angle for you guys. But you know, you can eat like over here and stuff like that. If they had any kind of uh, things going on down there, they'd have it. That, that right there is like water, water spouts. Obviously the seats and everything up here. So pretty cool, nice new modern area that's been attracting some attention. As you guys can see, we'll probably go over there in a bit. The city's out that way. All right, Castillo de San Felipe is a great tour. We had a very informative tour guide. I didn't want to show all of it because I want you guys to go see it for yourself and also that'd be a long ass video. I know you guys have a short attention span, so stay with me. <laughs> it gets very hot in those tunnels. He advised me to come in like winter time when there's more of a breeze because of the ventilation. So you guys saw us sweating, taking off our jackets. Really does get that dark down there. I had my ISO all the way up on the camera. I had to fill around the walls and it's hard to follow voices when everything's echoing. You can't see crap. The malls are pretty cool. Prices are gonna be more expensive for the brands that we're used to buying because a lot of stuff is imported. So they're gonna mark those prices up for Andres Carne de Res. I could not find it at first because the sign looked like it said Gudres. I don't know who designed it, but that's a fail on their part. First thing when we came in, they gave us a shot of Guaro and a lime. Uh, Guaro is Aguardiente. It's pretty much their national liquor that they made uh, out of anise. 29%, so it has kind of a black licorice taste, or, and it kind of reminds me of absinthe, which is also made out of anise. The food was great. I had some type of seafood paella, and my brother has some juicy cuts of meat that I was eyeballing the whole time. One of the waitress, she was really cute but you know obviously I got a girlfriend so I can't say nothing. <laughs> for anyone who has a Colombian girlfriend make sure you look up how people normally dress wherever you're taking her because Colombian women are very um, aware of their dress and appearance in public. We're American we don't give a damn we dress casually almost all the time and that's going to be it if you guys like the video go ahead and hit the like button comment your favorite part comment some kind of feedback let me know how you guys like the videos share it on social media help the channel grow if you guys want to see more content hit the subscribe button hit the notification icon so that you guys are notified when I do drop another video stay tuned for the next video because we're going to another island we're going to one of the most popular beaches out there and I might hit some jet skis or something like that and I'll catch you guys next time holla <laughs> Pregúntale a Duro. No.